Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to the Guild 3 where the future of the Biscuits dynasty is looking a little bit brighter because of course Custard Cream here is pregnant with the future heir which is all very good news indeed and the money is coming in very nicely, that's very welcome. We have a fancy new house as well, we've got the Biscuit Barrel which does look very lovely indeed. So it's all ticking over very very nicely indeed for the Biscuits. So the plan for today is to get up to patrician status, I think that's the next big logical thing that we need to do. and then. When we get that, that opens up all sorts of exciting opportunities. We get more action things that we can do. We can unlock these social skills over here and start improving our dynasty as a whole. And we can start investing some money in some more skills, which means we can get some fancy kind of business buildings going on. We can upgrade the pest house and then we can build our barracks. We can get the barracks in rather than having our little sort of mercenary quarters and everyone going around the place being bullies. We can have the barracks in and we can finally get the Visby police in which we've wanted for quite some time. So yeah, it's going to open up a lot of kind of opportunities getting up to patrician status. Now we could do that right now. We could actually do this right now because it requires 12,000 money and 750 influence. Got loads of influence, that's fine. We have got just over 12,000 money, but I think what we should do is we should possibly make sure that we have a little bit more than that just so we can, you know, pay wages and buy materials and all that kind of stuff. So I think we'll run time on a little bit. Now I noticed that Custard Cream and Frederick, of course, who are now married, they're not doing anything. They're sort of stood inside the house. I mean, they're enjoying being in their new home and that's all very exciting, but you're not doing anything. You're just kind of standing around. So let's actually get you to doing something. So let's make sure that you're actually employed first. Um, hang on. So Bourbon and Digestive are employed because they're sort of set as workers, which is a bit weird. So we've employed our own children to work in our own house. Um, but yeah, so Ulrika's we'll a resident, that's fine. Custard Cream and Frederick, let's get you doing a few bits and bobs. So yeah, let's get you set up. So hang on, hang on. Hire a worker, let's have Custard Cream, and then hire a worker, let's have Frederick. Okay, right, so what can we get you doing? I mean, yeah, Frederick has robust clothing, and he's got, he's got a throwing knife. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. You like sort of, you like chucking knives around. That's fine. How about, Frederick, we get you to nip out to the market, possibly, and it's not far away. So nip to the market and buy something that gives you a bit of a reputation boost, a bit of clothing that means that if you go around shouting about how great we are, then you get a little bit more kind of, you know, reputation and influence and all that kind of stuff. I think that will be worth doing. And then, um, yeah, custard cream. Custard Cream, you are woefully undefended. I mean, hopefully none of our sort of rival dynasties should be attacking us, but still, you are not very well defended at all. So I think what we should do is both of you should head off to the uh, to the market. So here we go. Hang on a minute. So oh, there's Ulrika. Hello, Ulrika. How are you? Don't go near this person here. They've got a bit of lurgy. Ronja there's a little bit poorly. Um, okay, so hang on. So let's go to Custard Cream. Uh, yeah, you're only over there, so that's fine, right? You pop to the market, Custard Cream. And then also, Frederick, you head over here to the market, please. So they can head out the house eventually. There we go. They're on their way. So Frederick and Custard Cream running over here to the market. Um, and yeah, we'll buy them. Yeah, we've got we've got a good amount of money. And yeah, we'll dip under the amount that we need to become a patrician. But we'll get that back when trading begins tomorrow. So that's not too much of a problem. So let's slow time down a bit. So here we go. Right, so Frederick... Uh, I think we sell your throwing knife. So let's sell that. We'll get rid of that. 131 money. That's nice. And then we'll go to uh, we'll go to weapons and armor. I mean, do we get you? I think a dagger is okay. A dagger will do the job for you, Frederick. So that's okay. So buy one dagger. That's okay. And then custard cream. You are the heir to all of our stuff. So how about we buy you a half decent weapon? Everything looks very very expensive. I mean, look at that, a mace is two and a half thousand money. I mean, a short sword, that would be worth investing in, would it not? And some leather gloves and possibly some sort of armor, maybe. I mean, is it worth getting just... I mean, I don't think custard cream needs to go around in plate mail. I think we should be sort of okay. Maybe some leather armor. Oh, that's a bit fighty though, isn't it? Leather gloves, that gives you armor in defense. So you can have a piece of armor in defense, as can you, Frederick. There you go. Don't say I don't spoil you. Um, and then, yeah, Frederick, oh, hang on, Custard Cream. Let's give you a dagger as well, Custard Cream. It's okay. It's a standard kind of standard issue defensive thing for the biscuits. And then, um, yeah, Frederick, can we get you some clothing, which is going to give us a little bit more of a reputation boost? So what does that do? That's just armor and stealth and such like. Ah, there we go. So peasant clothing 
is a 2% reputation bonus. I think we're above peasants. Um, okay, hang on a minute. So free citizens. Okay, we're kind of past that as well, are we? Um, there we go. Artisan clothes. Bit of armor, bit of resistance, but 7% reputation bonus. Oh, ah, that's what we want. Patrician's garb. So we get a little bit of intimidation, but a plus 8% ability to gain influence. That is exactly what we want. Um, how about that down here? That's only a 5% ability to gain influence with the garb of arrogance. Um, that's a 3%. Yeah, it looks like Patrician's Garb is the best one. So, yeah, I mean, it's a bit expensive, but we'll treat you to that, Frederick. There you go. Okay, so Frederick is now much, much better suited to go and pick up some influence, which is very handy. Um, Custard Cream, let's just give you something better than your robust clothing. I don't think you need anything super fancy. How about... I mean, what are you going to be doing, Custard Cream? What are you actually going to be doing? I mean, maybe we give you some Patrician's Garb. Because I think for the moment, you are just going to be running around the place yelling about how great we are so we can get more influence. Do you know what? Let's do that. There you go. We're both kitted out kind of the same, which is fine. Okay, there we go. So we spent quite a chunk of money. So we've spent about, what, three grand possibly? But that's okay. Uh, and then we'll go into here. So both of you, so Custard Cream and Frederick... Uh, let's find where's yelling about how good we are. So yeah, boasting about our achievements. Is there anything else we could do? Reading something out loud. Oh, that's children. Spurring the transporters on. Not so bothered. That's children. I think that's a children thing. Promoting our business. Um, I mean, yeah, Custard Cream was doing that. Custard Cream was doing that. Do we want to get Custard Cream back on that kind of job? And then we can have Frederick yelling about how great we are. Or do we do that the other way round? Throwing stones, stacking boxes, distracting guards. Right, okay, so all the other stuff's kind of, you know, children specific. Well, yeah, we don't want them to go begging or whatever. So we need somebody to boast and somebody to promote the business. Um, I don't know, who's the most charismatic? Custard cream. Let's have a look. You've got a, you've got a charisma of 10. Crikey's. Okay, and Frederick, you've got a charisma of 7, which is still pretty good. So I think let's get... Uh, let's have custard cream... Uh, yeah, Frederick can go and do the boasting, which is fine. And then Custard Cream can spur on, can sort of promote the business because she's a bit more charismatic, so she can get more people in. There we go. Right, so that's wonderful. They've both now got their jobs. They should now get on with doing a few bits and bobs. There we go. So Custard Cream's going to run off and start saying, hey, our businesses are amazing. Come and join us. And then um, Frederick should be going, have you heard about the biscuits? They're fabulous. Go and see them. Aren't they great sort of thing? And that should start ticking up a bit. Okay, that is very good news indeed. I mean, what's everyone else up to? I'd love it if we could have more people over here. It'd be good if we could have a slightly bigger kind of character, kind of outlier thing, because I can see what the three are doing, but I want to see what they're all doing. Um, Ulrika has finished doing her music, which is very good. Good job, Ulrika. Um, yeah, just do that again, please. Just keep on doing that, please, because it's working. Um, yeah, what's everyone else doing? So go to the family tree. So Ulrika playing music. Ah, oh, Hugo, sadly not doing anything. Who knows where Hugo's body is? Um, so yeah, Custer Cream is yelling about stuff. Frederick is uh, boasting. And then, oh yeah, Digest is going off on a trade mission. Of course. And then, uh, yeah, young Bourbon there is just going out to play, which is fine. That's all good. Um, yeah, Digestive, whereabouts are you? Are you slowly but surely making your way to the dock, I imagine? Yeah, because the dock is over there. Okay, that's fine. Let's put uh, put things onto normal speed. So you should be kind of making your way over there to go. I forget where we told you to go, but we told you to go to another one of the sort of trade route places. But okay, that's fine. You will get there eventually. So I think now, because it's gone past 10 o'clock, I think all of our businesses will have stopped trading. So our money shouldn't tick up quite so much, I wouldn't have thought anymore. So I think, yeah, 10,000... 450 monies. That's still pretty good. That's still pretty good. But yeah, that shouldn't tick up too much. Um, so yeah, here we go. Let's just run time on nice and fast, get to patrician status, and then we can start getting all sorts of very exciting things. But there we go. Digestive's going away on his little boat. It's very busy. Very, very busy harbour going on here in Visby. I still think this is one of the sort of one of the prettiest shots we've seen in the Guild 3 so far. I love the harbour. It looks very good. It's a shame we can't... Oh, there you go. We can get rid of the kind of views of the sort of house there with the character portraits. And we can just see that. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. Let's slow time down a bit. Slow time down. Uh, because, of course, yes, Frederick and Custard Cream have now given birth because, you know, an entire couple of years have gone by. Okay. 
and it's a boy. Okay, so what shall we call our child? Oh, hang on, hang on. Sixth Sense, they've got a skill. You have extremely good instincts. It's almost like you can predict the future. Oh, they've got a perception boost. That is very good indeed. Okay, and a charisma boost. Ah, yeah, that comes from just our kind of um, sort of general sort of uh, dynasty perk things. Yeah, so you've got strength four. That's pretty good. That is very good. Um, dexterity three, intelligence four, perception five, and charisma four. You're very good. You're very, very good. Okay, right, here we go. So what do we call the heir to the dynasty? Let's call him Rich T. I do like the sound of that. That sounds very good. And that also means that at some point in the future, the dynasty is going to be managed by Rich T Biscuits, which just sounds very wonderful. And I'm not making that up, by the way. That is a real type of biscuit, because there might be a few people looking at that thinking, that's not a type of biscuit, Penge. You've just included the word tea because you like drinking a lot of tea. That is true. I do like drinking a lot of tea. But a Rich Tea Biscuit is a real, actual type of biscuit. I promise you. I'll put a picture of a Rich Tea Biscuit up on the the screen. There we go. That is what a rich tea biscuit looks like. Now, in terms of the excitingness of biscuits, they're not really that extravagant, our rich tea biscuits. They're okay. I mean, all biscuits are good biscuits, but they're not that exciting. They're a little bit sort of more on the kind of understated side. They've not got chocolate in or fruit, or they've not got sugar sprinkled on them or whatever. They're okay. They, you know, they will suffice if you have no biscuits at all, apart from rich tea. They're okay, but you know, they're not the most exciting, but it works well with the name because hopefully by the time rich tea takes over, I would like to think that maybe the dynasty will be making a good pile of money and then we will be rich. So it'll work on kind of multiple levels. So there we go. Welcome to the world, Rich Tea Biscuits, which does sound very good. Um, production has been halted. Why? Why has production been halted? Ah, oh yes, of course, because time is passing. And that means that, hang on a minute, hang on. No, that's not helping. If we go to, if we go to there, I imagine it's over here. Yeah, Bourbon's grown up. Bourbon is now 15, which means Bourbon is no longer a child. Okay, this is wonderful. Right, now we have got, of course, a marriage over here. So Custer Cream is married to Frederick. That's all very good. And they've got uh, Rich Tea Biscuits, who is the heir to the dynasty and all that kind of stuff. But we have got Digestive. Digestive is currently going away on a trade mission. But I think as well, we could do with, uh, you know, sorting out a marriage for Digestive at some point. So we have some more, some more family members. And then we've got Bourbon. Let's get Bourbon married nice and early and then have some children let's do that shall we i think that sounds like a very good idea so um yeah let's sort this out now so bourbon whereabouts are you because you could be anywhere in the world where are you uh oh you're not that far away you're sort of round the corner a bit oh no that's okay yeah so you can head over here in fact hang on did we move all the stuff over from the cottage i can't remember did we move all that stuff over i cannot recall at all um we moved over a flannel and some flowers. Okay, oh, I imagine has Custard Cream got the rest of those? Is she carrying them around? No. Okay, maybe that's all we've got left. Do you know what? That will do for now. So, if we go to... Yes, I want to click on them over here. I want all of our family members in a big list. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to go to here and click there. Um, yeah, so if you come back over here, please. If you come back here and then pick up the um, pick up the flowers, pick up the flannel thing. So have a little, a little bit of a wash, have a bit of a scrub. Um, and oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What? A member of our family is inebriated. Frederick Biscuits has drunk too deeply from the glass. Oh no. <laughs> Frederick's has, uh, Frederick has got a little bit sloshed. Um, okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I'm sure he'll muddle through. He'll, he'll be okay. It's Frederick. He'll be fine. Whereabouts are you, Frederick? Being drunk. Oh, you're only round here. You're just drunk in the middle of the street near our house. Okay. How bad is it? Um, no, he's still doing his thing. He's still able to do his thing. He's just got a little bit of a drunk thing going on. He's got boozy breath beer. Okay, that that's fine. That's okay. That could be significantly worse. Um, okay, and then, um, yes, we want to get... Where is it? Yeah, Bourbon. So, Bourbon, make your way back over here, please. Oh, yeah, we need to put time back on to sort of move in quickly mode. But there we go. Oh, hang on. Hang on. The Sovereign is dead. Long live the Sovereign. Oh, the Sovereign died. There's no Sovereign of Visby anymore. Oh, that's very intriguing. I should possibly look at this, actually. So the council assistant is one of the Martins. OK, and then we're the council informer. And then Irk Emilson is just a regular informer. So of all the other dynasties, and there are a lot of them are doing very sort of well for themselves. There are only two others, as well as ourselves, 
in kind of council positions. I thought there would be significantly more. I thought there'd be loads more, but clearly not. I mean, yeah, the um, you guys, what you call the Lassesons, they're doing very well for themselves. They've got to nobleman status. So they've gone past patrician. They're on the next one up. They can do all sorts of things. Ah, maybe that's what they've been heading for. Because, yeah, if we get to nobleman, that gives us a nepotism sort of a skill, ability, trait, whatever it is. Um, and that means that we can have more than one person applying for the council positions. Because at the moment, we can only have Ulrika. It's only the head of the dynasty. And it seems to be the same for them and them. Uh, but yeah, when you get up to noblemen and you get that nepotism thing, you can have all your family and friends in here as well. So that's what we kind of want to work toward eventually, because we want to take over this, really. We want all of these jobs. But um, yeah, a little bit of a way off now in terms of money, but we'll get there at some point. But yeah, OK, that's fine. And there's no sovereign. There's no sovereign at all, which is very intriguing. I assume the mayor will apply for that job and become the sovereign at some point. But there we go. Right. I mean, that's nothing that we can get involved in right now. So, Bourbon, let's run you back home. Come on, to the new home. I don't even know if you've been here yet. Have you been here? I've got no idea if you've been to this home yet. Right, so in you come. Um, and then, yes, we'll do... Oh, no, hang on, not that. We need to to do the... Th where's the table thingamajig? There we go. Open the open the building menu. Splendid. Right, so you should just be stood in here. Um, oh, no, you're going to still work here, aren't you? You just can't do that action anymore. Uh, yeah, let's stop you doing... Oh, no, hang on. You can't do that action. So cancel that. Yeah, don't do that because you're not a child anymore. Um, and then, yeah, we'll give you that and we'll give you some flowers. There we go. Lovely. So a nice flannel and some flowers to go and sort of woo people. Um, oh, what's that? Slide rule. We can make things now. Is that because we're in a different type of house? Oh, we can make signet rings and we can make slide rules. So slide rules gives us plus one intelligence and plus two bonus when bargaining. Well, that might be quite handy to give to our transporters who are buying and selling things at the market. Um, and then a signet ring is a 5% ability to gain influence. Oh, well, they could be very handy things. That does require a silver ring and some gold and some paint. But OK, oh, that's interesting. OK, maybe we'll go and do something about that at some point soon. But right now, let's get this all sorted. So, um, yeah, there we go. So Bourbon's got the stuff. You've got on some robust clothing. Very good. Right, so head out. Oh, no, hang on a minute. We head out there. There we go. <laughs> and do we follow you? I think we should. There you go. Very slowly opening a door. Right, so now I think if we slow time down a bit, let's get you to have a bit of a wash with your flannel thingamajig. So there we go. So have it. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know quite what you're doing. Let's say you've fallen asleep on your feet. But there you go. Right, you're lovely and scented. That's wonderful. Um, and now let's have a look who is around. Let's embark on a romance. Here we go. Um, so you're 15. So it'd be good if we could find somebody who was kind of a similar age. Um, how about Emily Martins of the Martins dynasty? We could marry you. Okay, that could be quite good, couldn't it? Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Stats-wise. Oh, yeah, you're pretty good. You're very smart. You're Oh, no, because you've been training your intelligence. So you've actually only got an intelligence of five. That's still pretty good. That's still very, very good. Um, who is she for them? Hang on. So the Martins. So she is... Hang on a minute. She is... Is that her? Yeah. So she's not in... Oh, okay, she's what? First, second, third. She's fourth in line to inherit all the stuff. I wonder if they'd... I wonder if that will be fine. Could we get her? I think we'll do that. Hang on. Let's do that. So, Bourbon, back to here we go. Um, unless these other people are really good. Let's have a look at some of the people. Right, these people are a little bit too old, I would say. Um, 21, possibly. She's single. Um, she is very good in terms of stats. She's very, very good in terms of stats. Uh, okay, you're a potential, but still 21 and we're 50. There's a bit of a gap there. Um, I think that's uh, that's our lot, isn't it? Everyone else seems to be a little bit too old. Oh, hang on. No, down here. 16. 16. You are... Oh, you're one of the Taralfsons. Oh, hang on. Uh, yeah, you're okay. You're okay. You're not as good as the other one up here in terms of stats. Um, you here. Yeah, you're not as good as her. Yeah, let's let's try this, shall we? Emily Martins. Okay, let's go and have a chat. Oh, they're literally stood in front of us. Oh, <laughs> they're by our well. Um, okay. Oh, no. 
Okay, Bourbon, you need to level up a bit first, I think. Uh, let's try charisma thing. I would like to ask your permission to love you freely and to do anything you ask of me, says Bourbon. Okay, right, right, Bourbon, come on, come on. This has got to work. Let's move time on very quickly. Indeed, Ulrika's doing some stuff. Right, hang on a minute. Um, certainly you have my permission. So shall we talk about my wishes now, says Emily over here. Okay, that's good. Right, while that's going on, um, Ulrika's leveled up. Oh, good job, Ulrika. This is wonderful. How about we give you a point of strength? I think if we add strength, your life candle will grow a little bit. I think that's how it works. Um, I don't think we're going to see it directly. Maybe it just slows down. It's sort of melting a little bit quicker. But yeah, you do only have a strength of two. Um, and I think you're doing okay with everything else. So let's give you a point of strength. There you go. So your health goes up. And I don't know if that increased or not, but yeah, it's looking, it, it's better to have a, a, yeah, at least everything at three, which is pretty good. So there you go. Well done. You're a little bit more robust now, which is marvellous. You go and play some more music. Um, and then let's go back over here and join in this scintillating conversation. Um, right, Bourbon, come on. Let's just get this done, shall we? Let's just run time. On. Right. Okay. So that's good. So that worked. And now uh, can we compliment her? Because that would make sense, wouldn't it? So, oh, crikey, we're not the best. You're my precious stone among pebbles. My eyes will always find your sparkle, even in total darkness. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So you're calling her a stone. Not the finest of chat-up lines, I'll be honest. But there we go. Your words flatter me. Okay, fine. Fine. That, that worked well. She obviously has a, a keen interest in masonry and geology or whatever. Right, hang on. Uh, and then, I think, can we give her a gift? we give her a gift we have got oh, hang on yeah we can do that can't we so if we give her a present here you go i've got you some flowers you like the talk of pebbles do you also like flowers they're very lovely there you go they've been around for a while ah success i mean those flowers were made 28 years ago <laughs> they were made 28 years ago by ulrika i think you know they've gone past her date a little bit oh hang on something's happening to ulrika uh what is going on Hang on. Is Ulrika okay? Ulrika, are you being attacked by this thief? What's happening? Why are you... I'm not entirely sure what's going on. What's the thief trying to do? The thief is idling and Ulrika is... is busy. Okay. I'm a little bit concerned about what's going on there. I think Ulrika might be possibly in trouble. We might need to get some people in. Hang on a minute. You carry on doing this. We've got a henchman there to go and help out. Um, right. Uh, let's, uh, hang on a minute, Bourbon, you can do some sweet talk. Yeah, do some sweet talking with her. There we go. That's going to work just fine. Um, yeah, Ulrika, what's going on? What is happening here? Why are you sort of scrabbling around in the dirt? Oh, you're not in trouble. You're just sort of looking at the ground. <laughs> what? Oh, we got robbed. We got robbed of 32 monies. Oh, botherations. Okay. Okay, never mind, never mind. Oh, no, and that didn't go well for Bourbon either. Oh, no, we've taken our eye off the ball many times. Right, okay. Only 12 kind of points lost there, though. That's not so bad. Um, let's compliment them again to try and get that back up, because that worked. 68% uh, chance. Uh, yeah, here we go. The poems of 100 poets wouldn't begin to grasp the fullness of your beautiful face. <laughs> You old charmer, you. Um, okay, we've got our charisma back because we've healed up from our sort of romantic uh, romantic rejection there. Oh, how sweet. I would love you to write a poem which captures me fully. Okay, so that's going to do well for the uh, for the points. Okay, so that's topped it back up by plus 15. Um, how about we how about we give them a kiss on the cheek? Oh, my goodness me. How very forward of us. And moi, there you go. Did you like it? You did. Plus 28 whatever that is, like, what is that again? What is that? That is 28 something points. Um, and we could play the Maserna. Oh, yes. Oh, no, I think we're okay. What are they? Affection points. That's it. Um, I think we're okay. I think, I think we can, oh, oh, hang on. Is she talking to us? She's, <gasps> she's proposing to us. Oh, hang on. How does this work in terms of the dynasty stuff? Uh, my darling, we've been courting. Our love has only grown stronger. <laughs> we've only been chatting by a well for a few hours. <laughs> Goodness me. Um, would you dare to take the next step with me and join our lives in marriage? Now, the only thing is, here we go. I don't know how this is going to work. Because she's asked, does that mean that we will 
lose lose her we'll uh, lose our character to their dynasty because she's asked again i'm not entirely sure this is a little bit unclear on how this works i'm not entirely sure what we'll do is hang on i will drop a save so i'll save where we are right now before we answer this question and then we'll carry on playing and we'll do what we did before and we'll hope that she comes over to our dynasty because we're like the main, you know, we're playing the game as it were. So let's just drop a very quick save. Okay, so the game has been saved and now we have to answer her question. So of course we're going to say yes, because if we say no, surely that breaks all this sort of uh, whole kind of engagement thing off. Oh, we don't get a choice. Yes, marrying you would make me the happiest man. Okay, <laughs> we just sort of, we, we have to say yes. Okay, right, hang on a second, hang on, hang on. So we're going, hey, we're engaged. And then she's running away. Where are you going? You're strolling around. I wonder if we then initiate the whole marriage thing, if that then means that we, uh, you know, we get to sort of be, I don't know, the priority one and she comes over to our to our dynasty. I don't know. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's do this then. Let's sort that out. We're not going to go through the dynasty trade thing because it didn't work before. I mean, is it worth doing? Hang on a minute. Candidates. Bourbon. Candidates. Um, Emily. Yes. And then oh, propose is there. Propose, the propose button is there. We've got an alliance. But I think, yeah, ah, destination family. I know it will work. Yeah, destination family, us, please. Um, propose that. Um, how are they doing? Oh, they're not doing brilliantly. They've got some stuff. They've got some buildings. It's okay. Lusty apprentices. <laughs> what? Um, okay, so if we propose that, your proposal has been rejected. Your trading partner feels insulted. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on. We can we can work this out. We can work this out. We're going to do it properly. Let's do it with the dynastic trade thing. So, okay, so our family candidates, Emily, would you like, um, I don't know, 2,000 money as well. Would you like a pile of cash to go with it? There we go. No, rejected twice. I was going to give them 2,000 money. Do you know what? tough we're going to do it anyway they're going to elope there's going to be some eloping happening right bourbon run after them run after emily really quickly um yeah start a wedding in a church please let's do it properly my love i think it's time we finally tie the knot let us marry in a house of god uh, i mean where's the nearest church there the church of good hope it's got to be there surely it's got to be there um okay so here we go i assume she's going to say yes given that she actually proposed to us so now they're going to run off to the church. Oh, Joy, I've got the big church wedding I always dreamed of. And they're going in completely different directions. Okay. <laughs> I assume that she's going to run off to her destination where she was going before. And then she'll come back to the church. She's going to stand around over there for a bit and do nothing. And now I'm not entirely sure where she's going. <laughs> she's, she's going to go and greet somebody. Okay. So, however, are we waiting in the church? Is that where we are? <laughs> this is very silly. Um, Ulrika, um, can, oh no, there's Bob on there. Um, Ulrika, can you just I don't go back there? Bob, where are you going there? So you're going to the church, which is which is where we expect you to go. Where is where is the nearest church? Uh, oh, there. Oh, okay, that's fine. Church of the Holy Ghost. Ooh. Okay. Oh, look at that. That's a fancy church. This is much better than the ones out in the villages. Oh wow. Um, yeah, church wedding, please. Uh, my child, your fiancé, belongs to another dynasty. Yep, yep, yep. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, because the dynasty said no. Uh, the dynasty leader rejected it, and we offered them a big pile of cash as well. Um, but they said no, so we're just going to come here and do this because we're so in love and it's brilliant. Um, uh, yes, I am sure. Can we please get on with it? Yes, I am sure. Yes, pay the money. And now we just have to kind of wait. A wedding is taking place. However, can we just take a moment to... Just to have a look at that. That is very pretty. Look at that. It's lovely. We can see inside the churches. Because when we last played the Guild 3 on the sort of previous run that we did uh, with uh, over in Magdeburg, I don't think you could go into the churches. I think you had a kind of cut scene. It just cut to a cut to a sort of uh, a cut scene and then that was it. You kind of saw them getting married and then they went out of the church again. But now there's all sorts of bits and bobs. There's a donation box. Okay, that's nice. Might pop some money in. And there's a, a, a baptismal font, if you can, if you want to convert to a different faith. Right, we have got somebody here. Okay, Raven. Okay, Raven, are you are you uh, are you part of our congregation there to watch? Are you part of our little sort of you know people watching us getting married? I assume you are. Right, 
We seem to be lacking our potential wife, which is a little bit of a concern, isn't it? <laughs> wife, potential wife, fiance, could you hurry up, please? Because here we are, just waiting at the altar. Don't jilt us. Oh, no. Perfume evaporated. Okay, that's fine. The wedding is taking place, but we seem to be on our own. Oh, no. Is it going to run out? Is the time going to run out and it's going to go wrong? <laughs> this is a bit silly. What What is going on? Where is, where's Emily Watson? Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> this is so daft. Um, hang on a minute. Uh, no, it's you. You're a Martins. And where are you? Are you on the way to the church? I think you're, yeah, married. Hey, there you go. Better late than never. Finally, you got here. Um, I think, however, the time is, ah, let's make it official. I want to marry you here and now because I don't need a big wedding in a church. What? Oh, now it's just happening. <laughs> However, are we going to keep you in the dynasty? Ah, here we go. This is interesting. Hang on. <laughs> now what's happening? She just got a bit of bread. <laughs> it's like, hooray, let's get married. Have this bread. Uh, right, hang on. This is this is bizarre. I don't know what's going on. Now she's just evaporated into thin air. Where, where has she gone? She was here a second ago. This is bizarre. Guild 3, what are you doing? Um, so are you married or not? Now I'm hugely confused. Um, no, you're still not married. This is just all sorts of very weird. Um, right. Let's try again, shall we? <laughs> Marry. Yes. Her. Where is she? <laughs> this is brilliant. Right. So she is... She was in the church. Me, ah, there she is. There she is. She obviously ran far quicker than I thought she could. Right. Okay. So let's, ah, here we go. Right. Wedding in a church. Yes, please. Yeah, there we go. Uh, in, in this massive church that we were just stood in just a second ago. Come on. Let's do this right here. We go. Yeah. Get the big wedding you've always dreamed of. And you're both running in a completely different direction to where the church is. Oh my goodness. Oh, now you're going to the St. Boniface church. Okay, right, yep, church wedding. Are you sure you want to continue? Come on, come on, come on, yes, we're absolutely sure. She's right behind us, I am sure. Yes, I am sure. Yes, pay the money, just get it done, for goodness sake. Right, okay, <laughs> now she's got, there she is, finally, finally, there you go. Right, do the whole marriage thing at the second attempt. Yep, 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 do you? Yes, I'm sure I say yes, absolutely. Just run time on. Yes, says Bourbon, yes, says Emily. It's all brilliant. They can have a little uh, a little kiss. Trade mission was a failure. Oh, that was disappointing. That took ages and it was very expensive. And there you go. Little sort of a uh, little smoochy there. And sorted. Hooray. Okay. <laughs> and she's part of our part of our dynasty, which is good stuff. Okay. That took a lot more effort than I thought was going to be required to get you two sorted. But there we go. I love the fact that she just turned up in a church and then went, let's get married. It's brilliant. Om nom nom. <laughs> Started eating a big bit of bread in front of us. That was brilliant. Okay. Right. The wedding is done. Bourbon is married to, uh, to you. Right. I think now what we need to do is uh, you two need to do that. You can do the producing offspring thing. Go and write a, uh, go and write a couple of letters to the store and see how that goes, please. So they can go and do all that kind of stuff. Right. Ulrika is oh 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 my word <laughs> that that person just died that person just died right in front of Ulrika in the church what wow okay it's all action in the churches today was Ulrika here for the wedding or is she in a completely different church I'm not entirely sure where is where are you Ulrika what church are you in I don't know if we can find out oh yeah you came for the wedding oh that's nice Ulrika joined in the wedding Oh, very good. Did you buy yourself a nice big hat, Ulrika? I hope so. Um, okay, right. We'll go back to doing what we were doing, and we'll let the we'll let the priest deal with the corpse that's in the church now, <laughs> which is a little bit weird. Um, we'll go back to over here because you know we're doing okay with the whole money thing. Digestive, however, that failed. Your trade mission went horribly, horribly wrong, and I don't think we can do another one for a good long time which is a bit unfortunate. Um, okay, never mind, never mind. I mean, digestive. Do you want to get you doing the whole sort of marriage thing? I mean, we've just seen how very sort of, uh, how very long-winded it is. And who knows what goes on with the weddings? They're just a complete mystery. But um, do you know what? For now, I think it'll be fine. Let's just get you, um, let's get you doing some other bits and bobs. Can you go and, I don't know, run around and chat about how great you are for a bit, possibly? How about go on to our rostrum? and do that for a bit. We'll just stand you over here. 
Um, how exactly do we do that again? Do we have to assign it from there? Can't remember how this works. Hang on a minute. There must be an option in here somewhere. There we go. It's just there. Boast about your achievements on a rostrum. Yeah, absolutely. Go and do that, please. Um, for some reason, it says it's closed. I don't fully understand that. Maybe it's closed because we've just booked a sort of yeah performance slot on it or whatever. Okay, yep, yeah, that's fine. That's all good. Uh, right, let's run time on until, yeah, maybe about lunchtime when we should have enough money to finally become patricians. Or let's run time on a bit and then slow time down again because one of our employees is apparently unwell. That is very bad. Um, it's Matilda over at Big and Bubbly. She's got the flu. Okay, Matilda, I'm sorry, there's a queue of people, but I think it's more important that Matilda goes and becomes well again. Um, so, yeah, get your illness treated, please. Um, go over, I mean, you could go to the pest house, but that is quite a long way away. I think the herb hurt the herbalist, which is a good name. It, it does what it says on the tin. Um, I think that will do the job. So you go there, please. So 25 monies, so that's fine. We can we can cope with the, uh, the cost of that, and it's only across the road. So there we go. There we go. Hopefully she can... Uh, she can get better, although she is losing a massive pile of health. Ah, there we go. She's being treated. Fleming is treating her with some, you know, herbs and ungulants and salves and such like. But there we go. Please get well, Matilda. We don't want you being poorly. It's taking a long time, <laughs> but her health is looking okay. Yeah, it's going down and going back up. There we go. She's been cured. Thank you so much. That's very good. Right, hang on, hang on. Someone's expecting a baby. That's very good news. Right. Let's get you set up back over here then. So yeah, you resume work over there. That's very good. Um, the Emilsons have got a new title. Uh, press the right button would help. And where are the Emilsons? Which ones are they? They are free citizens. Okay, well done. They're the same as us, I believe. Um, and um, and yeah, that will be uh, that will be Emily Biscuits and Bourbon Biscuits. We're expecting a child. That is very good news indeed. Okay, splendid. Right, oh no, now custard cream's being... Hang on. What's going on here? What are you doing, Sondra Martins? You're reading a poem. Okay, good. <laughs> Just, hang on. Is Sondra Martins attempting to woo us? Because we're, we're not all about that. Custard cream's already married. We, we're not all about that kind of stuff. Um, Digestive... Yeah, you're just sort of... Oh, you've done your rostrum thing. So this is a bit silly. I kind of want you to do that permanently. Because now I have to tell you to do it again and again and again. It's just a bit kind of... Just keep doing that, please. Because that's going to get us loads of influence. Um, and then Ulrika. Yeah, just keep doing the music. Keep doing the music, Ulrika. You're good at it. People like it. It's wonderful. And we seem to have a huge pile of money. We've got... It's gone to just about one o'clock. We've got almost 17,000 money. Now is the time... To become patricians. Here we go. 12 grand, 750 influence. Um, so what does it get us? If we press the button, actually, let's claim the title. There we go. Our tireless drive has earned us permission to bear a new title, patrician. So it means we can have a warehouse, which is not overly useful. Um, we can insult people, which we're not going to do, because that seems a bit mean. Uh, we can send someone on a long distance journey. That's what I was thinking of last time. So the trade missions just open up potential trading options with another place. But yeah, the long distance journey is where somebody goes away for a long time and they come back with some potential exciting kind of goods, don't they? And a great big pile of influence as well, which is very nice. And um, we could spy on a building. I don't quite know why we'd want to do that. And um, we can oil the wheels of bureaucracy. Yes, that gets us a huge, great big pile of influence, but it's very expensive. Uh, we could play some dice. Uh, we can do some sneaky intrigue. Okay. <laughs> right you are. Um, and then it says, letter from the Inquisition. Nobody expects a letter from the Inquisition. Okay. I don't quite know what we'd use that for. Or uh, we have access to offices at the middle level. Of course. Oh, that's good. Sneaky intrigue. Okay, I'm intrigued with that. Um, right, hang on. Offices at the middle level. There are some... Ah, there's a dungeon master vacancy. I wasn't expecting to go over there with Ulrika, but maybe that's where we could go. I was thinking maybe more should go down the sort of tax collecting route. But no, Dungeon Master. Let's possibly go over here. They preside over the city dungeon. The chief task is to ensure the incarcerated serve their punishment. Well, it's okay. We're not torturing them. In a way, that's kind of sensible because we want to go down the whole sort of policing route. Um, yeah, let's apply. Ulrika, you can apply. 
Absolutely. 175. That is very good. Um, and I think... Hang on. Have we got... We haven't got nepotism yet, have we? No, so we can't get anybody else in. But yeah, if Ulrika could start working our way over there to become a dungeon master, that'd be very good. When does it end? So at eight minutes past two in the morning of the next day is when we find out if we get that job. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can uh, we can hang around until then. Okay, we're now patricians, which is very, very exciting. Um, so let's treat ourselves to a few of these social skills that will have now opened up. Now, we can't get them all because they're relatively costly. Um, yes, we've got, what, 1,820 influence. And I think they are 500 apiece. Yeah, they're all 500. So let's get two of these. Let's treat ourselves to a couple of these, shall we? Um, I mean, that there, that seems like a really, really good option, just straight off the bat, plus 5% reputation bonus. I mean, that yeah, that makes us more popular. So let's get that straight away, nice and sensible. And then we've got a choice of one of these. So a bit more productivity, a bit more speed, some intelligence, a bit of a bonus when bargaining. Uh, we can have more resistance, we can have more armor, we can have plus 10 resistance, but minus 5% reputation bonus because we're getting involved in slightly dubious dark arts, um, or we get plus one perception. Don't care about those two. They're, they're a bit rubbish. I'm not so bothered about the armour over here right now. We'll get that at some point, but right now it's kind of, there's better things to have. And the same goes with the resistance. That's okay. So it's going to be one of these four here. So either a little tiny, tiny bargaining boost, uh, a bit of intelligence, a bit of speed, or some productivity. I think maybe... Let's go down the route of business sense and get some intelligence going on. Because then that means eventually that goes down to a bonus when bargaining. Or well, huge bonuses when bargaining. That's got to be good. Yeah, okay, let's go down that route, I think. So let's get plus two intelligence points to everybody in the dynasty. It affects everybody. So Custard Cream will now be super brainy. There you go, seven. That is very, very good. Good job, everybody. There we go. So that's what, you know, one great big advantage of becoming a patrician is you then get access to quite a lot of very fancy new kind of perk things that affect everybody in the dynasty and look at that you can see all the people around the place have been affected by those things so plus five percent reputation bonus and plus two intelligence for all of the biscuits well done we've got very reputable smart biscuits wonderful also i think it might be worth thinking about upgrading some of our skills so for example we've got medicine one already which means we can have our wonderful pest house but if we save up a little bit of money, we could upgrade that to medicine level two, which means we can get infirmaries. So we could then take our pest house and we could use the fancy upgrade button thing down here and turn that into an infirmary, which I imagine gives us more staff and more kind of treatments and all that kind of stuff, which just generally makes it a slightly more sort of you know effective and better building. So I think that's what we should do. Let's save up a bit of money. Oh, hang on a minute. Of course, we could go down what we're actually sort of what the original plan was. We could go down here. We can afford that right now. 2,900 monies to get fighting level two. And if we get that, it means we can build the barracks and we can have people standing guard. We don't have to have kind of ruthless mercenaries going and, you know, sort of uh, being horrible to people and extorting money. We can have people doing proper kind of policing work. The Visby police can come back. Okay. Okay. I think... I think let's let's upgrade. I mean, the money is coming in very quickly indeed. So how about how about we get this done first? So we'll get up to about maybe eight grand. I mean, look, the money is ticking up all the time. It's going up very rapidly. So that's OK. Well, hang on. Custard Cream is being bothered. Um, oh, no, it's this person here is trying to chat us up. We want him to go away. <laughs> Custard Cream, can you make him go away? Because we don't want this person bothering us. Tell him to clear off. You're happily married. There is nothing to forgive. I love it. No, Custard Cream, stop it. You don't like Sandra Martins. It's outrageous behaviour going on. Um, oh, hang on. This person here has levelled up. The one that's right in front of us. Okay, wonderful. Um, how about you have a point of dexterity? There you go. You enjoyed that. Marvellous. Um, yeah, I mean, look, how much time just passed? A few minutes and we almost got a thousand money. So if we just run that on, I think it won't be too long until we get to about eight grand. Look at it. Look at this flying up. Wow, it's ridiculous. I mean, it'll come down a bit when we start spending money in the market or whatever. But yeah, that's that. Oh, hang on a minute. There's more level ups going on. Um, you can have a point of have a point of dexterity. There you go. You can become very, very dexterous at cutting hair and such like. Um, 
some office holders are appointed. Uh, okay, so there's a tax person, there's a captain, there's an Arsenal master. A family feud has started. The Taralfsons and the Brodersons are in feud. Oh, I just, oh, I just clicked a button that I didn't mean to click. <laughs> Botherations. Um, hang on a minute. Yeah, go, no, go back. Go back to work. Sorry, there you go. Sorry, I've interrupted operations at Big and Bubbly. It was uh, purely accidental, terrible management going on. Um, yeah, you should be... You're idling. Why are you idling? You should be doing work. Tentacus are waiting for work. Oh, that's fine. That's, that's okay. That's okay. Which one are you? You're Lena. Let's just make sure that I've actually done that right. Yeah, Lena is waiting for work. Yeah, okay. So she'll run back in at some point when there's work to be done. Hopefully. I kind of feel like we need to run her into the building. Let's make her go over here. Because it looks like there is plenty of work to be doing. And then there you go. Attending to customers. That's better. So yeah, maybe because she wasn't in the building, she couldn't do anything. Okay, a bit of an error on my part. There we go. Let's clear that down. Right, clear all that nonsense out of the way. Uh, okay. Eureka, guess what? Ooh. Play a game of dice at an inn. Okay. Uh, okay, no, it's fine. We'll go. We'll do some music. We're good at that. We know we're good at the music. Um, and Digestive is just sort of <laughs> still hanging around. Can you do your trade mission thing yet? Not quite. We could. We could send Digestive on a long distance journey. We've almost got the money for that. No, do you know what? No, 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 no. no. We, we set out to do something. Um, a vacant office. Yeah, we'll come to that in a second. Um, yeah, we set out to upgrade this. So let's get that done, shall we? So 7,000 monies to upgrade our skill to get medicine too. So, okay, right. So we spent a big chunk of money on that. So we've got medicine too. And now we should be able to just level up our building to get it from a pest house up to an infirmary. Because I think, yeah, if we want to build that, yeah, it costs seven grand to build the infirmary straight off, like, you know, from nothing. So, I mean, yeah, why would you do that? I don't really know why you would do that. So hang on. So can we do this now? So level up the building. Level up failed. You need at least 5,000 minutes. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't say that down there. It doesn't say that at all, game. It says rewards. Uh, yeah, you can level it up by one level, but it doesn't say, hey, you need a big pile of money to do so. Now oh, that's a little bit, it's a little bit rude, isn't it? Okay, so there's, yeah, you, there's no point. You, it's the difference between the two buildings. So, okay, fine. We need to save up a bit of money again. I mean, yeah, as we've seen, the money is coming through very nicely. So it's not too much of a problem. Um, and Digestive, just get back on your uh, get back on your rostrum for a bit and go and do some shouting. Our employees are doing well over here at the Pest House. They're all levelling up, which is wonderful. Yeah, you can have a point of dexterity. Good job. That's very nice. Right, Digestive has finished over there. Let's just keep you going with that because you might as well. Or, yeah, do we send you on another trade mission? 2,450. I think we can probably afford that now. Oh, hang on, I'm use that. That's the other person over here. Good grief. Um, yep, yeah, dexterity again. That's fine. Right, digestive. What do we do with you right now? How about, yeah, how about we get you to do the rostrum thing again, just to top up the influence a little bit more? Because it does help. It does help. Um, far trade. Um, Stockholm. Yeah, I don't think we can... Um, I don't think we can go to Stockholm yet. I don't know if we tried to do that one, but I don't think we've got access to that. Uh, <laughs> a group of gentlemen who hide their faces in the long hoods will be buying tinctures at high prices until that time. Meet them in a dark alley in Stockholm. Password, cheese on toast. This game does love some cheese on toast. I also like some cheese on toast, but possibly not as much as this game. Um, right, Ulrika, just keep on doing the singing and the dancing. You know the deal. I've just realised that Bourbon and Emily are now not doing anything at all. So they got married, and then they went home and wrote a letter to the stork. And that was successful because, you know, a stork is on the way, which is all very good. Uh, but now they're not doing anything. They're just hanging around the house, doing nothing at all, and they're not contributing to the dynasty, which is not very good. So how about... We do the same with you two that we did with Custer Cream and Frederick. Let's get you two over here and you can go out and you know, start doing some start doing some shouting about yourself because we do need to get that influence up. And it's a nice, easy way. If you go and boast about how great we are, that's a nice, simple way of getting that done. So there we go. If you two start running out the house and go to the market, we are going to have to spend a bit of money again on this kind of stuff, but never mind. Um, I mean, we have got... <laughs> Bourbon is carrying around a bouquet of flowers, which is nice. Right, so how about we get rid of the clothing? So we do that. Oh, no, hang on. Yeah, we can't, no, we, no, we have to replace it. Don't just take it off. <laughs> that would be bad. Ah, hang on. Ostrobin Market is selling the Patrician's Garb at 917. That would save us quite the pile of money. 
Um, how about weapons wise? Daggers, Lomel under 140. Okay, now that's fine. We can do that. So one dagger for you, one dagger for you. That's okay. And we'll buy the leather glove things as well. Right, Hansa Quarter, selling that for 384 rather than 501. Right, there are savings to be made here. So I think um, you two. So hang on, where's where's the Hansa Quarter? It's all the way over here, isn't it? Is that it? Yeah, so you go there and. Then we get, hang on a minute, where's, where's, to the, where's, who was that? That was Emily, hang on. <laughs> where's the other one? Where's Bourbon? There, right, and then Bourbon, you head over to this market as well, where you can buy some gloves. It's a long trek to buy some gloves, but yeah, it's, it's nice and affordable, so that's fine. Okay, so they've both arrived over here. There are quite a few vacant offices coming up. What's going on there? Oh, crikey, there are many vacant offices. However, we have applied for the Dungeon Master. When was that? Um, oh yeah, it was the next day, wasn't it? I think we should possibly see if we become the Dungeon Master. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Right, okay, so over here we go. Uh, right, so you pick up the leather gloves from over here. So one pair for you and one pair for you. Very good. Um, and then we wanted to get the clothing. And again, the Patrician's Garb is really good. So 8% ability increase to gain influence. And it does give you resistance to kind of disease and some armor and all that kind of stuff as well. So I think that's a very good thing to do. Uh, we can get it for 966 from from here, or 917 from Ostrobin. Ostrobin could be really far away. We'll, we'll just replace it now. It's fine. There we go. So like that, like that. That's very good. And now, I think what we have to do is, let's go back home. So if we go back over to the biscuit barrel, and then we go to here, then we need to employ Emily as, as yeah, as a worker. So employ Emily Biscuits as a worker. And then we've got, hang on, Emily down there can then go and do boasting. So you can do boasting and then Bourbon can do boasting. Lots of boasting, lots of influence coming in, hopefully from that. With their fancy kind of Patrician Garb thing on as well, because that should kind of increase that. No, not that one, that one there. Oh, hang on, the Patrician's Garb looks exactly the same as robust clothing. <laughs> it's a little bit misleading. Okay, there we go. That's fine. That's all very good. Um, yeah, we now don't have enough money to upgrade this again, which is a bit of a shame. Let's see if we can get any sort of decent amounts of money before the end of the day. Okay, I think Digestive is just about to finish his little sort of rant on the podium. Okay, that's very good. So we don't get much from that. It's really, really ineffectual, that is. It's really slow and laborious. It's a lot easier to just kind of queue you up, you know, set you a task, as it were, over in there to say, right, go and boast about your kind of, you know, the achievements, and they go and do that forever. Whereas that thing on the rostrum is kind of, you know, you have to tell them to do it every single time, which is a little bit rubbish, I think. But there we go. All right, hang on a minute. Um, Adrian has leveled up. Oh, well done. You're doing very well for yourself. Um, have a point of charisma. Why not? There we go. That'll do. That seems quite good. Right, digestive. Um, I think let's send you on another trade mission. Let's do that, shall we? Um, how about, yeah, go to Riga. Go to Riga again. Yeah, absolutely. It's a huge pile of money, which does mean that we can't sort this out. Oh, no, hang on. We did just make a bit of money from there, though. But, yeah, so it does mean we can't upgrade this right now. But I think, yeah, if we can get all those kind of trade things set up, they will persist. I think once they're done, that's it. Yeah, they're kind of applicable to our dynasty. So then we can have trade with all those four locations. So I think, yeah, we'll do that. We might as well get that done sooner rather than later. And Digestive, he's not the kind of sort that wants to settle down. He doesn't really want to go and have a family. He wants to explore. So Digestive is going to be a kind of trading person. And he's going to go and wandering, wander around the world. He's going to do the other thing. He's going to do whatever it was, that thing at some point. He's going to go on a long distance journey. He's going to go and visit far flung lands. He doesn't want to settle down and be, you know, sort of someone who has to have children and you know, live in the house and go boasting about achievements all the time. He wants to go and explore the world. So that's what he can do. Um, meanwhile, everybody else, yeah, back here, keep yelling about how great we are, please. Okay, winter of the year 1430 has rolled around. Oh, and of course, yes, we have another child to name. So this is a child between Bourbon and Emily. Yeah, okay. Um, so they're called by default Sven Svenger, Svenger, possibly. Um, strength of two, dexterity of two, intelligence of six. That's very good. Yeah, that's boosted by our kind of the perk thing we took. Um, perception of four and a charisma of three. Okay, uh, right. What do we call you? Let's call them nice. I think that's a good name. Hopefully they're going to be a nice person. And of course, yet yeah, there is a biscuit called a nice biscuit. And yet they are quite nice. So there we go. That will do. 
There we go. We'll call you nice because that seems very good. This is very exciting. The dynasty is growing a great deal. Look at that. Look at that. We've got loads of new people on board now, which is all very good. Um, how are you doing, Rich T? Still not able to kind of do anything right now because you're teeny tiny. Okay, look, right. So what we need to do is run time on until whatever it was, eight minutes past two, just to see if Ulrika gets that job. Because I think that's what we're waiting for now. Keep playing the music until then. You can do a little sort of celebratory song afterwards or whatever. Yeah, I think that's going to be the next kind of big thing, isn't it? Can we sort of elevate ourselves up into the next tier of fancy council positions? I think we can, because I don't think there's anybody else. Oh, look at this. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Look at this. Ulrika's got a crowd, and they're all dancing. All these fancy people who do look... They, I mean, they look very familiar. It's nicely the twins over here joining in. But, um, but, yeah, this... Oh, hang on. Triplets. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that. Triplets. Um, but, yeah, that's good. They're all having a little dance. Some of them are a little bit more sort of a little bit more dancey than others but that's fine right move time on nice and fast oh Rika, just keep on playing the music you're doing very well you've been alerted oh okay i don't know what that means but okay a thing has happened right here we go let's see can we get the job put time down to normal 205 206 207 208 there yes the candidature was successful look at that we're the first one, I think, of all of you know, us and our rival dynasties to get into the second tier of the council positions. We are now the Dungeon Master. We are officially a DM. Okay, right, this is wonderful. That means I can roll dice behind the screen to worry all the players. Um, okay, pe uh, people who play Dungeons and Dragons will get that. But there we go. There we go. That's very exciting. So, yeah, we've got a fancy new job. And I think with that done, we will finish things up for now with the Guild 3. I think let's finish things on a high with Ulrika's kind of fancy new job appointment. So well done on your new job, Ulrika. And I think when we come back next time, we'll make sure that we upgrade the Pest House. So that can become an infirmary, I think it was. Is it an infirmary? Yes, yeah, so that can be upgraded to an infirmary, which means they can have more products on offer and we can have more staff and all that kind of stuff. So that'll be a very good thing. That'll make a nice bit of money. And then I think we invest in the Fighting 2 skill and we get a barracks in. So we can go back into the kind of whole policing of Visby type thing. Because, you know, it didn't work with the mercenary quarters. That was a bit of a dark time for the Biscuits dynasty. We don't talk about that. That was kind of a bit of a, a bit of an error on our behalf. And, you know, it didn't happen. And nobody needs to know about it ever again. We'll wipe all records of the existence of Visby PD away. Because that was a little bit of an embarrassing time with people extorting people in our name. So that didn't work well. But... The barracks has people guarding, and guarding is good. Guarding is a noble kind of police type thing where we're going to go and guard places and make sure that there's no trouble going on. So I think that's what we should do as well. Get the infirmary, get a barracks, and then, yeah, they should together make a nice pile of money as well. So there we go. We'll try and do all that kind of stuff next time. And as well, yeah, we could possibly see... If we can, you know, get a few more letters written to the store, can get some more children appearing in the dynasty and all that kind of stuff. So plenty to do, plenty to do. But we shall do all that kind of stuff next time. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in the Guild 3. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. This robotic arm has salmonella on it. Okay, so we've got two things that are diseased. Be warned about tutorial robot. He's all sort of retro and adorable. I think he wants to destroy humanity. <laughs> Hungry humans, come and order some food. 74% efficiency, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. There he is, there's the murderous robot face. 